everyone welcome back to my uh, vlog my channel uh, so we've put this together and everything seems to be okay I've used sockets for the up amps because I want to try the up amps that come with one of the boards I couldn't get to work and try them in there and see what happens uh, but everything seems to be yeah like I say everything seems to be okay so uh, I put the transistor over here onto this heat sink I've left a bit of cable there because I'm not sure where this is going to go and how it's going to be set up just yet because I wouldn't mind running two of them in the same container uh, so I can it just might be easy just having two of them there they're two they'll both be separate they might be connected to the same transformer um, it, it can come in handy having a couple of them but yeah so from what I can tell everything seems to be working okay if I just switch that on set this to voltage oh. across there and I'll we'll take a peek at what's going on in the output here so we've got 10 volts there what we want to do is we want to trim that down to um, zero volts. So I'm going to turn this pot. Now I know on this it looks like it's going the wrong way around, and it is. Um, that's because um, it's set up for the other one, and I actually put these connector blocks in the wrong way around. But it doesn't make any difference. It's it's all good really. Um, so what I'm going to do is let me just quick turn that off. I'm just going to plug that into there, plug that into there, put that back down, and we should be near enough zero voltage. And what we can do using this is just just trim that in, so it's you see that's too high. Make it down there. It's too low. That's on a minus now. Get back here and just try and find it as close as I can get it. To the zero yeah about there uh, right so that's that's what you can do with that to make sure that the zero is set on there to the zero of the potentiometer using that resistor there um, we can stick a I've got a um, this is a 10 ohm resistor so we can actually see if it tracks uh, you know relatively well by sticking this into current mode. Sorry, I'm full of, um, I'm allergic to my cats. It turns out this is a 10 turn pot. It's got a little bit of time to go up. Let me see if you get the full voltage out of it, which is quite nice. That's what it's given us, that's what the pot's allowing us to get. It's nice to see here as well that there's no um, thingy on there. Now what I can do with this actually is I can look at the content of AC in there. And that's... Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty much zero. Just gonna turn this down and get it onto 10, uh, 10 volts. Because I'm gonna connect in that. The resistor. And just see if we're getting one amp out of it, because that's what it should be. At 10 volts, we should have one amp. So let's just uh, get that done. Oh. A little bit of delay between me and this. Let me just uh, pop that back to there. Okay, right. Should we say that'll do it? Yeah, that's going to settle around about 10 volts, isn't that's all we want to do? Let's see it peeing about with that. All right, so I'm just going to turn it off now. I know that's at 10 volts, and I'm just going to set this up. So 
we can look at what current is coming out of it. What I'm going to do for that is I'm going to chuck this in here. Shouldn't really use this for screws, but it doesn't have to be mega tight on there. Um, we can put this in here. There we go, and then put this into a little tiny hole in there. It's just a grippy grippy. Pull this out of here and pop it into the current. And pop that over onto current over there. Uh, like I said, we should have from this resistor being 10 ohms, 10 volts. So 10 divided by 10 is. Uh, one and there we go 0 0.988 okay so we're pretty much good for that that's not bad at all so it is nice to see actually then uh, I just want to do this really quickly uh, like I said I'm, I'm, my head's all bunged up I feel like I've got a load of cotton wool up in my brain it's um, I'll be sniffing all the time if I wasn't just breathing out my mouth while I'm talking um, it works, it works, so, you know, that's a nice thing to see that there are, you know, there is some vendors out there now, at least that one particular one that I looked at, it wasn't that I had to go looking for loads of them, I didn't, but that one particular one, um, after just looking down the list on eBay, I could see that they had no other images, no other images showing the other boards, just this board, and I checked with the seller, but I checked after I bought it, I was quite happy with what I saw, and I saw that they'd put out um, the components, and I was quite happy that that wasn't just the generic image. And But I did check with him afterwards, he said, no, yeah, it is as you see it in the, in the pictures. So, yeah, I'm, well, I'm, I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with that. And... Um, it's just good to see that it's working. So I'm going to do some experiments with this anyway. I'm, like I said, I'm going to change these out. I've already swapped the caps over. Got rid of those Chong X things and put my own uh, other caps in, which are you know, probably no, not really any better, but they should be because they're branded. So you'd hope, well, not Chong X brand, but uh, that's a niche con. These are Panasonic's down here. And this, I'm not quite sure what this is, but it's a low ESR anyway. Um, but the same values. Same values. Okay, and I'm also going to pull a link to the website. I'm not going to go over the website because I don't want to, I don't, like I say, I just want to wrap this up quick. Um, but I'm going to do some more with these and I'm going to look at the other boards again because I'm going to put a link to the website um, in the comments. And you can go and check that out because from what I believe, not the actual website, but there's a link right at the, t there's, there's a name of um, the site or it's the name of a, a, um, an organization at the start where they point out saying this is where the original board comes from. Oh, I'm paraphrasing, okay. But there they've got it where they've actually built up this circuit um, not on these boards and it mentions about you know people in China getting hold of the circuit and then knocking out these boards but you can see where other people have done it and it seems to be a really decent um, power supply and they run through it as well how it works and so for anyone that's interested uh, that's a quite a good thing and you can change things you can you can put some different uh, op amps in I believe you can also use the um, 2033, I'll stick it up, I can't, my brain's not working well, but it's basically a BJT, um, pretty common, pretty popular, I've got a few of them, I'll be trying them as well, to see if those particular transistors work with this, um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't realise it was as uh, popular or common, whatever, however you want to put that, as what it is, this particular this particular circuit. There you go. It's a worker. I'm really happy about that because so many of them haven't been. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one, guys, if you got this far. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.